Good morning. Gosh, it's good to see you all. I just did the try on for this dress and you'll see what I said then, but I wanted to show you that at that time, this necklace was very, very long. And what I ended up doing with it was putting a, a black hair tie. So it kind of hangs down in the back too, but it's the right length for this dress. Uh, this is the dress that I showed you. It was the last try on for this order. And it's very pretty. Whoops. I kind of need a camisole for this one. Good morning, my name is Denise. Welcome to my home. I have a small Timu order. Timu. Why do I not want to say moo? Like a cow, moo. Order this morning. That will take care of the, the larger order. This was the part of the order that got delayed. And by the way, I did get... Um, a $5 bump for that, for the order being late. I'm going to try to adjust this a little bit. I know it's not good to have me all over the place, but when I move myself, I don't want to take a chance on my head getting cut off again. Uh, for those of you that have not had the experience with Timu yet, welcome. You're going to have an experience, and it's a ride to remember. Uh, get on the Timu train and let's go. Uh, Timu is an online market um, marketplace. There are many, many different vendors. I'm seeing my nostrils here. Uh, and what they do is their suppliers for Timu, who is the, um, I don't know, umbrella for all of these vendors. I still don't like this. I aim it down. Forgive me. I should have done this before. Okay, I'll catch my breath and we'll get through this. My cat just knocked everything down. Imagine that. And the basket that I did the other day. That went down with them too. Her. But it's not unrepairable. So, anyway. And I did yell at them. That's awful. I got to stop that nonsense. This is the bouquet, and they're not horrible, and I'm definitely going to keep them. It's just not what I expected, and that's my own doing. It's my own doing. Had I been paying attention, I would have seen it. Okay, some of you have asked me what kind of glue I use. Well, I've been kind of hunting and pecking around. I used... Um, Amazon glue, and that works really well, and the dollar store glue works okay. Um, I haven't found glue at Timu that I've liked. This is my last attempt here. Comes in a box, and it's called um, Super Strong Nail Glue, and it's a tiny little tube. And what I have on right now is from Amazon. I haven't tried Walmart. I know I probably shouldn't be saying the name of the stores, but, you know, everything at, at Timu has just been so wonderful. And if there's one thing you don't get there, that's just the way it is. So we'll try this, and I'll see how it is. The price on this glue is $1.52, and it's $1.68 right now. Okay. Next. Do you remember a few uh, hauls ago? I got a mat. I think I got my... Um, brace at the same time but I got a mat like this and it has I'll open it it has the it's a real simple concept but it works really well if I can open it come on I don't know why it's working but I'm not going to ask that uh, 
I've had spinal cord injuries, as I've shared with you before. Well, there it went right across the floor. Um, it has the, the uh, snap-on. You know, I'm going to turn you off a second and go find that, and I'll be right back. Okay, here I am back again. I sure hope that I can edit this because it took me a while to get back here. Anyway, um, this is the mat. And right here, I guess I need to be grateful that we weren't live, huh? This snaps on there like this. And there are several different modes and the the buttons indicate the modes and then it uh, you can go up to 19 on this and that that's the mode. I gotta see. I think the 19 is the intensity of, ah, yeah, I can feel it in my hands, but I, ouch, I don't know if I want to turn it on anymore, not that way, but for my, um, I do my feet with this, and it sends electrical impulses up my legs, my feet and my legs. And because of the spinal cord injury, it it helps to stimulate the, the nerves that otherwise have been damaged. And it seems to really help. I can't say for sure that it does, but I believe that it does. It's been a real blessing. Oh, there's one more thing. Where did it go? mascara I wonder if the cat took it with him when her when she took out everything else I don't see it I just saw it this morning anyway it's 7D mascara I haven't had a lot of luck with mascara although you know it's been a long long time since oh there it is since I've done makeup, I think I told you that. Probably with the makeup video that I did. And maybe before too, I don't know. Um, I thought I would try it again. This is called 7D uh, Mascara Fiber Lashes. And it looks big. Whether it makes your lashes big or not, I don't know. Um... The mascara is 314 and it's 314 now. If this doesn't work, I'll find other places to go for mascara as well. I know that there are mascaras that are out there that build your lashes. And I have like non-existent lashes that makes them black, but it doesn't build them. And I know that there are mascaras that do. So let's just hope that this does and we'll go from there. I don't think 314 is a, an expensive price for mascara. But I hope it works. So, we haven't been here very long. Um, there will be try-ons after this that I'll tack to the end of it. I wanted to apologize for the chaos. Usually it's not that chaotic. It's a beautiful fall day. The sun is shining. It's warm outside. Where is it where you are? Well, you know, I have lots of orders coming and lots of ideas. One of the things I, I'm getting in the orders is uh, some stencils. And I have some furniture outside that I, I want to paint and stencil. And I'm getting sandpaper to do that with as well. So I think you're going to get to watch that. <laughs> Um, oh, the, I told you about the price adjustments and because the last part of this order was so late, they did give me a 
um, credit for being late. They're really good about that stuff. I know that the order was in pieces, but did you have something that you saw that you really liked? Is there something that has sparked your interest that you'd like to see more of? Be sure and tell me. I enjoy each and every one of you. I enjoy each and every one of your comments. I think you know that I read them and I respond to all of them. If you find that I haven't, it's not because I, I don't want to. Sometimes they hide from me, but I do my very best to find them. Your comments are all very, very important. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the like and the subscribe button. It'll help our channel grow. And I, I say our channel because it is ours. I want the content to be stuff that you like. I want things that are going on that to for you to feel like you're a part of it. Well, I love you all, and I'll get this edited and out, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi. Well, I kind of was thinking about some stuff, and I think that I'd like to do some try-ons for you, and I think that I'll do them in segments because it is kind of difficult sometimes. I don't have makeup on, so... You know, that's just kind of you're not looking at my face, you're looking at my clothes type thing. I have uh, a dress on today. You can see the print. Um, I did buy it from Timu and I bought it a while ago. I'll go ahead and, and as we go, I will put uh, links on. So if you like it, you can get one. Because I know they're still available. As a matter of fact, I think I might have bought a second one. I don't know. <sighs> I'll tell you what. It's something sometimes thinking about what I do. I do pretty silly things. But anyway, um, I'm finding that my clothes are a little bit big on me. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's not a bad thing that... I'm taking the weight off. It helps my um, my mobility and helps my my body. I'm not tremendously overweight at this point, but I still like to lose a few more pounds. And everything that I've bought from Timu has been extra large. And I think I'm down to a large. I've ordered a few things that are large, so we'll see. I may make a mistake that way too. I don't know, but we will see. Anyway, this dress is, let's see how far back I can get. Oh, can you see me? I, you know, I don't mind the dress. It has pockets and that makes it really nice. For those of you that like pockets, I would prefer not to have them, but I've explained that to you. And what I found you know, oh, by the way, what I'm wearing with this, you see that necklace? I had this before I started doing stuff with Timu. And these earrings I got on Timu, and they match, and it's just amazing to me. What I've decided to do with this dress is belt it. Um, because of my body type, I tend to belt high. Uh, I have a long body and short legs, so I look kind of ill-proportioned if I don't. Um, kind of like... But it, it makes a nice line, I think. It's a nicer line than just hanging um, because it's hanging in the wrong places. I think that as time goes by, I'm going to have to get containers and just get those dolls out of there because I have a sewing machine and I know how to use it. And maybe some of the things that we can do is, you know, alter these clothes so that um, they fit me. And what I would do with this dress is just take it in a bit on the sides. Uh, the sleeves are fine. They are long sleeves. 
I think what I'd like to do with some of my dresses is put elastic in the sleeves so that I could pull them up and they would stay there. I was thinking too about some of the clothing that I have. I don't know, you know, I don't know how you guys would feel about this. Um, but I think I might open a little shop. I don't know. Can I do that online? I don't know. This dress goes just above my knees and I don't like things that are that short anymore. I have wrinkles above my knees. You know, my, my body is responding to age and I don't know. I can't get a knee lift, can I? I'm not going to worry about it. But I have black leggings that I wear with it. I don't have them on right now. I don't know if I can back up enough for you even to see. I don't know how to zoom this thing in. Maybe I need to get off of here and figure it out. Maybe if I zoom it, um, you'll be able to see more of me. I'm not sure how to do that. But at this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get off and give myself a minute and then I'll put something else on. I may just do a couple things a day. I may do more than that. Um, I really want to be able to share a lot of my clothing with you because there's a lot. And if you can see it on me, maybe that can help you to determine how it might fit on you. Um, I'm not a size two minus model at all. And I think it's kind of sad sometimes because these ladies are real people and I'm not gonna say that they're not, but they're unusual to be that tiny. I think some of the ladies are Asian and they're very tiny by nature. And that's just perfect. They're exactly the way God made them. Uh, and we're all different. So when I see a, a tiny, tiny model, I'd really like to think that the clothes will look like me, you know, look like that on me, but they don't always, they don't ever, <laughs> but that's okay. They look like they look and I'm indeed blessed. I'm indeed blessed. Hey, we have 200 subscribers. We hit 200 today. Yay. Please keep in mind, you know, that, that the way we're going to do our 500 subscriber is, you know, whoever can bring people on board with them. Remember, you know, if you like this channel and you enjoy this content, maybe somebody else that you know would. Um, if each one of you brought someone on board, then we'd be at 400. That would be awesome. Um, and I know that won't happen necessarily, but it might. You know, if, if one friend can bring one friend, and we can all put our heads together and figure out what kind of content to put on here and have more time to enjoy uh, the company that we have. I wonder if I put this down farther if... Uh, if when I back up, you can see more. Let's try this. Oh, I think you can. I can't tell. I really can't tell what everything is going to look like. But see, it kind of gives me a better line, I think. Can you see my knees? It's about two inches above my knees. And a lot of these dresses are cut short. And thats I know that's the style right now. When I take the belt off, it feels like it's a little bit longer but then I don't get the shape in the dress that I want and I feel frumpy. So that's just me though. I mean, you know, this is a nice dress. It's well made. It's polyester. It's a more of a t-shirt material. It's a medium weight. It's wonderful. It, uh, I can't see you when I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hi. Um, so that's this dress, and I'll talk to you soon.
I love y'all. Well, here I am again. This is the blouse that uh, we hauled in that in the last whoa clothing haul. This is the hardest thing about doing the clothes try-ons is trying to do the hair thing every time, but that's okay. This has the cowl neck. Is that what it's called? A cowl? And it's got long sleeves with elastic in them. And I'll back up. The capris that I'm wearing are also Timu. And I will, um, I'll link those as well. This is really a pretty blouse. It's a little bit roomy, but you know what? That's okay. I am wearing a dark colored bra. I'm not sure if it's purple or black, but I wore that on purpose so that you could see. It's really not a real light fabric that you can see through. I love this where it drapes. And I didn't wear a necklace because I didn't want to ruin the line. And I don't know what I would do, maybe a choker if I was gonna wear it. But you can see that these are capris and they're a high rise capri. I'll link these. I don't have too much luck with um, leggings. I don't know if it's Timo's leggings or just leggings in general. I like the LuLaRue leggings, the one size, because they hug. I don't like leggings that don't hug a little, and these do. These do. I'm going to go back to the store that I got them from and see if they're still available um, online, of course. And I'll link that for you as well. It drapes all the way down, doesn't it? All the way down. It's pretty. And it's down kind of mid-hip. So it's a nice length. And this is um, an extra large. I think I could take it in a large. But it's beautiful. And this was in the last haul that, that we did. Well, I am back. You remember this little black and white number? It's striped and it has the a V-neck. Although, you know, it's not down far enough to where you need to wear a camisole with it. I wanted to mention something about the blouse that I just had on. Uh, it is polyester. I don't think I mentioned that. And this one is as well. Neither one of them have spandex in them. But they're real easy to get on and off. Uh, this one also, I think, is telling me that things are a little bit big. And hold on just a minute. I have a remote control somewhere that might work but this is blousey enough that I think I could be looking at going down it would fit me better up here in the collar the sleeves are the raglan sleeves it's really a nice length it's flattering and it looks great with these capris you know I have black accessories with it I do a lot of black accessories don't I um but gosh, you could do white or red um, or just about any color that you want to complement with. Well, darn it. Let me sit in front of this window. So there. Is that better? Whoops. Now the tripod doesn't want to. Um, these wash up so well. When I buy clothes, and I think I've told you this, but I don't even try them on until I wash them. They have sizing in them, and that sizing can be deceptive uh, as to what it's really going to fit like. And I found that with the polyester stuff, uh, it has no natural give. And when they're sizing in it, it's even less. And the, the fabric is more, it's not as flowy and soft. It's more rigid. 
So when you try it on, it may not look like it fits you, but after you wash it, it does. So be careful, you know, when you buy clothes to do your measurements, get your clothing and wash them before you try them on. If for some reason it doesn't work out, you can still return them. Uh, but give yourself a fair chance. You know, it, you just don't know for sure until you wash them the way it's going to fit. And you've seen the black beads before. I'll link them again. But this is got the pretty sleeves, I think. I like them. It doesn't accentuate my fluffy arms. And I think of all the places on my body that I have an issue with, and my arms are the ones that I kind of think I have the most issue with. Okay, I think I'm going to go. Hi. Well, here we are again. I know it doesn't seem like very long, but it's a while. It's getting dark outside. I made chicken for dinner. What did you guys make? Um, my granddaughter likes to cook so usually well I can't say usually but a lot of times she'll cook for herself I'm here to show you another top if I can get this butterfly on there it goes I don't know how jewelry gets tangled like this this top is the one that kind of looks like it has sparkles on it but it doesn't. It's just the way the material is. And they had a way of making it look sparkly. It's got the asymmetrical collar. It is polyester and spandex. It's 95% polyester and 5% spandex. Uh, let me show it to you. The turquoise is pretty, isn't it? I like the variegated stuff where, you know, it's lighter at the top and darker at the bottom or vice versa. I've seen some do both. Now this is an extra large and I don't think I could have taken it any smaller in the arms. I may need to do t-shirts and an extra large for a while. I don't know if I'm ever going to lose this fluff, but um, it's a really nice shirt. It feels good. It's soft. Uh, it comes down, well, almost past my bottom. It comes to the bottom of my hips here. I think it's really a pretty shirt. And it does kind of look like it's got sparkles on it, doesn't it? My butterfly necklace goes really well with it. And this, of course, is Timu. If I get it to sit right, you can see it. Well, I'll just show it to you. You've seen it before. But I love this necklace. I have cats everywhere. I think I have 500 of them. Okay, and these are the white earrings of the earrings that we hauled the other day where there were four pair. They're wooden. They're really nice. The only thing with this with the asymmetrical, I do this anyway with my um, my left side. It seems like my shoulder is lower because it's blown or something. I don't know. But I have to hide bra straps a lot. Um, so that's that. I think I'm going to go try on something else, and I'll be back in just a minute. Bye. Hi. I'm back. Well, this dress was one that I was so excited to try on. It's that flowy, beautiful polyester. I love the colors. Oh. Let me show you the dress. Once again, I have my black accessories. I wear a lot of black.
back, don't I? Isn't this pretty? I love it. It's flowy. I think it has a slice up one side too. It's not, it doesn't expose anything, but it just gives you a little bit more latitude or leeway. I was wondering, it would be pretty, I have a belt coming that doesn't have a big buckle and stuff, but you could almost belt it too. This is so pretty and it feels so good. I was afraid that because of the v-neck that it would be too low and I'd have to wear a camisole with it. But you know, it it crisscrosses high enough for me that I don't need one. Um, it has beautiful fabric. I love the the feel of it. I still have that dark bra on and you know, even though it's Thin fabric, you can't see it. And it goes down, I know you can't really see my feet, but it goes down to the floor. I'm all whoppy jawed here. And I have my black earrings on and my black necklace. And it looks really well, it works really well with that. You could almost wear, if you had something this color, you could wear those accessories too. But black is kind of the go-to for this, I think. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more tonight or not. I do have a small Timu haul that I need to finish up tomorrow. So maybe what I can do, I'm going to combine this with the haul anyway. But... Um, maybe I can try on some more tomorrow. I want to get the uh, the try-ons done from the hauls that we've had and maybe get a couple of things that are from my closet. But it's most important to get that because ha, we have more clothes coming. I don't know why. I don't know why I do this with clothes, but I sure enjoy them. Maybe it's because I've never really had nice stuff for me. But God has provided a way for me to have things that are beautiful and maybe that I can share. Um, Timo's pretty amazing. I don't remember the price on this. I think it was $12. But I'm going to post prices and everything uh, as I edit these uh, so that you can see how much they are and see the link where you need to go if you decide that you want to purchase um, I'm going to get up one more time and show you the back. I don't think I did show you the back. It's very flowy. Let's see the, the slit is on what side? On the left side. And it just is a little bit of a slit. It's not a big deal. It hangs beautifully. It looks so nice. The sleeves are really generous. And again, this is polyester. I know some people call that the cheap fabric or poor man's fabric. I sure don't see that. It amazes me how one thing, polyester, can look so many ways you know it, it you can weave it to look like anything you know you can have a really dense weave you can have the really light flowy weave like this I guess with cotton you can do that too because of the gauze you know cotton gauze gauzy blouses that we used to have and then the even linen cotton linen I guess I need to get in there and figure out how to do that stuff because it really fascinates me. And I'll have that information. Well, I could stay on here and chit chat for a while, but I'm not going to. I will wait until tomorrow when we can do the haul. And I'll talk to you then. Love you all and have a good night. Good morning. 
It's Friday, the end of the week, beginning of the weekend. This is Denise. Thank you for being here. Um, this is the last part of the try-ons for now. Uh, this is the last dress that got hauled that you haven't seen. I wore that other dress for a haul, so you have seen that one, and I did show it to you. Um, this one is a little bit big, but I'm going to make it work. Um, how is everyone? I've missed being able to sit and talk to you. You know what? We have 202 subscribers. That is so awesome. Hold on just a minute and I'll show you what we've got here. This is the long dress. I have the sleeves rolled up. They can be rolled down. They're full long sleeves. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let me turn this off. You know, I don't pay attention to noise because I have the TV on all the time. There we go. The sleeves aren't excessively long, but for me they are. I've got short arms and short legs. I think that what I'll probably do is put elastic in these. And sometimes what you can do is if you have rubber bands that aren't going to constrict your arms, if you want to put them on your sleeve and just roll your sleeve up, you know, or, or pull your sleeve up, that'll work too. This dress is very long for me. I have to hold it up when I walk. I kind of feel like an old time girl. I kind of am, huh? Um, I can hem it, and that's what I'll do. I honestly, I didn't wear a camisole on purpose. I wanted you to see the cut of this and how low it goes. It's not terribly low. It's kind of uncomfortable for me because if I move the wrong way, because my body isn't in great alignment here, gosh. My body isn't in, a, in great alignment. You know, I kind of shift when I walk. Then my bra will show. And I don't want that. But it's, it's cut, you know, just above the bra line. And I'll probably w wear a camisole with this. I uh, I think what I'd like to do, if I can, I don't know, I'm going to try to figure out this one out, but I want to make this shorter, at least for this dress. I think it would be prettier, you know, if it was just right by the, the neckline. And this is a Timu necklace. And Timu earrings, Timu rings, Timu face, Timu hair. My glasses aren't. But anyway, I've got the try-ons and I can add them. I'm going to go ahead and do the last part of this little haul. Uh, I've got other stuff coming. You know, I sat, uh, I sat down and I figured out how much money I've spent on Timu this month, you know, with orders. And I'm sick. I have to stop. It's really hard for me. And I think that it probably is for you, too. And I don't want you to get to a point where you get overwhelmed. And I'm almost there, and I need to stop. It doesn't mean I'm not going to do hauls. I'll figure out how to do smaller hauls, and we'll just talk more. Um, so please pray for me that I'll do the right things. Because the right thing is, is to be a good steward of the money that God provides for me. <laughs> So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here for a minute, and then I'll go get my stuff, and we'll just do the rest of the haul.